Okay, for this assignment, you are going to make a rubric. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is decide how you're going to assess your students based on your lesson plan decision and the introduction to the lesson that you made. After you make your decision, write one paragraph about the assignment, then make a rubric and rubric star and put it all in a Word document and turn it in here. Um, we're going to take a quick look at some rubric makers, but to get to the point, um, of how you're going to assess your students. Now, are you going to have them do a worksheet? Are you going to have them do a quiz? Are you going to have them do a some type of writing, a presentation? Um, what are you going to have? What are you going to do with them? So you have to you have to figure out how you're going to assess them based on what you you wrote your introduction about. Okay. So real quick, we're going to look at some rubric makers, and if you Google this. Um, you'll see that there's a ton of them out there and you know there, there's always going to be the five ten best of, of rubric making tools for teachers and all this stuff I've gone through a lot of these things the fastest one that I have ever used is Rubrstar so we're going to click on that and it comes up like this um, you can put all this stuff in and log on you don't really need to do that but um, we can just create a rubric based on these different categories. So um, let's say I'm doing geometry and math, and I'm going to do um, you know have them do a worksheet to identify different shapes or, or something like that. So I would click on this. And you can see there's all kinds of different things here. Um, math, graphing, math problem solving. I may want to make uh, a rubric with something else based on what I'm doing with this. So I might want to do a worksheet. So I may have them make a poster. I may have them do some type of other thing to do that. If I do this problem solving one if I click on here for example what's going to happen is and you're going to ultimately have to do this no matter what you decide you, you play around and do it all you really got to do is put your name in here and uh, just going to put in geo shapes and then all you need to put is your zip code that's it Good. and just make it a temporary rubric because you're going to copy it and paste it onto a Word document anyway. So you have all these categories. You don't have to do them all. I'm asked all the time, how many categories should I do? Well, it's up to you. It also depends on the grade level. My rule of thumb kind of is, you know, kindergarten to fifth grade, you're probably going to want three uh, on up to high school, middle school, uh, middle school, higher elementary and middle school you might want four or five and then high school you might want six or so six seven like that so I'm doing this for fourth graders so I'm just gonna do four of them so number one I can just go to this drop-down menu and I can just click on one of these and I can say you know did they what was their use of manipulatives did they look at in my lesson plan, I want them to look at geometric shapes and then draw them in, in a worksheet type situation. So, did they use the manipulatives correctly? So, I put it in there and you can see what happens. It fills these out really nice for you. So, you know, rubrics, you have the categories and then they have the four different... Um, scenes here where they um, are going to be go from good to, to bad four three two one now this is you have to do this so this needs to be um, done the categories need to be done in favorable and it doesn't matter if it's messed up because we can edit it uh, acceptable marginable
and unacceptable. F A M U. Get it? Okay. This is what we do in the College of Education with our rubrics. Now, some of the elementary ones will only have three, not four, and that's fine. You just do F A M. That's fine. Or F A U. Doesn't matter. Um, but this needs to be like this. If it's not like this, you will get points deducted. I'm making this a point. If this is not like this, you will get points deducted. 10 points, okay? So I'm just going to do another one, like uh, diagrams and sketches, and then neatness and organization, and use a uh, little uh, mathematical concepts. I'm gonna do one more um, completion, okay? So all the problems are completed. They did everything on the worksheet, several of them, but so forth and so on. So you see how this works. You can also make your own. You don't have to use the pop down menu. So you could type in yours here and then fill these out. Like so I could do blah, 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 blah. And so forth down the line. I'm not going to type out a bunch of stuff, but I'm just going to show you this how this works and how I can manipulate these too in the end. So you've got this all together, you're very happy with it, you're ready to go. So you're gonna hit submit. And voila, you have got a really good rubric. Okay, favorable, acceptable, marginal, unacceptable, student's name, it's got everything. So now what you need to do is copy all this, and then you're gonna open up a Word document document. Let me get this thing down to a manageable thing here. Okay. And then you're going to paste it in here. Okay. And you want to just keep it like this. Don't do any of this stuff. Keep source formatting. Okay. And then you've got it. Um, this should be under your reflection of, of what I asked for earlier. In other words, I asked for decide how you're going to do this after you make yourself one paragraph about the assessment. So you need to write your paragraph about the assessment first and then copy and paste this in. If you stopped here, that would be fine. Um, and if I didn't, you know, if there's something I didn't like, like this one, I don't like it, I could just delete it. Um, and I can do all kinds of fun things here if I want to. For example, I can highlight these. And I can go to the old paint bucket up here. And I can make them colorful. I can grab all these and go to the paint bucket and make it that. Make this. Now, you do not have to do this, so this is just uh, something you can play with if you want to. I'm not going to give you extra points if you do it. It's really more for you to, to get used to doing stuff like this. Um, and then you have, you know, you have a cool little rubric. The students love this stuff. So that's basically it. You're going to make the rubric. Um, Take this one down so it's all on one page, which is nice. Should all be on one page and put your reflection up here or why you decided to do what you did. And then you have this and you turn it in and get your grade. All right. Remember, decide what you're going to do to assess your students first based on your lesson plan decision and your introduction to the lesson. Then write a paragraph of it, why, why you're doing what you're doing, 
then make the rubric and turn it all in here. All right, very good, thank you.